Hi guys, this is Nutrix the Synth Guy, and today I'm talking about Cubases for the iPad. It's part of my new installment about what's new in the iPad world for music making. What's interesting today is uh, Stangberg released Cubases 2.3, and it's a software, it's a DAW, that has been uh, around for a couple of years now, and it's basically the iPad version of Cubase. And actually, if you have Cubase on your computer, you can take the sequence you did with the iPad and bring them in Cubase and then go further with them. Personally, I don't use it that much, uh, but it was one of the first that I tried and I really liked it, but started to use another one. But, but, Today with the new version, something really cool came out. With the new version of 2.3, there's something I would never have expected before. You can actually have Waves plugin on the iPad. You can actually buy Waves plugin inside Cubasis, which is really cool because if you know Waves plugin, you know that they've been around in the audio industry for a lot of time. And it's still today one of the de facto plugin that a lot of people have because it sounds good and they know what they're doing. So the, we'll look into that. I'll show you the different ones, but I didn't buy them, honestly. Well, it's not because I don't like them. It's because it just came out today. So actually, let's, the offer is very simple. If I go into Cubase, you go into shop and you have now the plugins you can buy. The Wave bundle plugin is there. Um, the whole plugin is $27.99, which is pretty affordable because this thing is like $30 for three plugins. And if you just look at Waves L1, that one by itself is more than $30 if you buy it for your computer. Same thing for the Q10 and same thing for the audio track. So the three of them are really interesting in the fact that they're supposed to be the same algorithm that you have in the computer. If it's that the case, well, pretty cool for the price. I mean, each of them are $11 and together you've got, you know, all of them for $28. That's a fairly good price for the quality of plugin you have here. Ultra maximizer for, you know, maximizing the loudness of your tracks. Audio tracks, which is kind of a, uh, you know, let's say Swiss knife of audio editing for your one track and the Q10. I don't know if you know Cubasis, but there's other things you can buy that are not Waves plugin. You've got the classic machine that was in the latest version 2.2, the latest before the one we have right now. Um, you can actually have these. So the price is again, fairly affordable. So for 549, you can buy the classic machine and you get all these machine. You've got a uh, Lindrum, two different versions of the Lindrum. Then you get a 606, a 808, a 909, a replica. You got these, I don't know what they're supposed to mimic. Actually play this. Really old school 80s. I'm not sure this sounds like a 909. And this. That's more like an 808. I say light. remembers you know, I've got memories of these sounds <laughs> and the last one Uber X so this is like 549 again interesting for the price let's say you want to buy all of these things you know for a let's say about $60 you get all the plugins and honestly on a computer that's the price of one plugin so the price is okay and um, if you're using Cubase I think it's a great you know option to add to your little setup um, so really really if you're interested Waves plugin on iPad through Cubasis. Pretty cool. 